So I'm aware of the fact that not everything I make is exactly healthy. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a easy and quick keto pizza dough. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to be making our pizza dough out of almond flour instead of bread or all-purpose flour. And it's gluten-free. So I'm going to just put in two cups of that. I'm going to add some salt, some baking soda, an egg, and some olive oil. And this is kind of like making a pie dough because you're just mixing all the ingredients together until you get kind of a clump. It's going to seem very dry at first, and you may need to add a little bit more olive oil like I did. But don't worry, in the end this will all come together. And once it appears to not be too dry anymore, go ahead and switch from the spoon to your hands and go ahead and knead this until it becomes one solid mass. And obviously you're not going to let this rise because there's no yeast, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. While I made my sauce and my toppings, I just took my dough and I wrapped it in some plastic wrap, and I just stuck that in the fridge until I was ready to use it. You do not have to do this part, but if you still need to make everything else, just go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to put this on some parchment paper on a baking pan, and I'm going to put some more parchment paper on top, and I'm just going to take a rolling pin and roll this out into a thin pizza crust, and try to get it as thin as you can. And in the end, yeah, it's not going to be a perfect circle, and you are going to have to fix the sides. It's kind of like working with Play-Doh. But this is going to go in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 7 to 8 minutes. After that, take it out, let it cool for about 5 minutes, and now it's time to put on your toppings. I'm just putting on a thin layer of pizza sauce. You can use any type of sauce you want, preferably sugar-free. Then I'm going to top this with some part skin mozzarella. And the reason why this is in chunks is because I've been snacking on them. And then I'm going to top this with some mushrooms that I cooked earlier, some dried oregano, a drizzle of olive oil. And this is going to go back into the oven for about five minutes. And then I had it for one minute under the broiler. And keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn. And in the end, it looks like this. And as you can see, the edges are nicely browned and crispy looking. And that's what I was looking for. So I was ready to slice this thing up and try it out for the first time. And I gotta say, in the end, this actually came out pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised. But the big question is, is it pizza? And I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. No, I would not consider this pizza. It is good, and if you are on the keto diet, and you want to try something that's a little bit on the healthier side, this is definitely a good option. I do suggest using a cauliflower crust, too, if you want to try that out. But I think the almond flour route is a pretty good route to take because it, it is different. It's kind of like eating breadcrumbs. That's that's basically what this is texture-wise and taste-wise too. And I can't say that the crust takes over all the flavor because you can still taste the toppings. I probably would have put more sauce on top. But in the end, I will say this was a pretty successful recipe. So if you're looking for a quick and easy, healthy recipe for the whole family, I do suggest making this, but if you have a big family, I suggest making two or three of these. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.